You ready for a big day? You ready for a big exciting day? I'm Katie, that's Fluffy Dog, who's finally decided to get out of bed. Hi. <laughs> Fluffy Dog and I are camped just outside of Stanley, Idaho in the Sawtooth National Recreation Area and we are going for a hike. We're going to hike to Alice Lake today, which is about 6 miles, 1600 foot elevation gain. And we may go further and do a whole loop, but a lot depends on what the snowpack looks like. There's no snow down here, but there's going to be quite a bit of snow up at the top. Probably we're just going to Alice Lake and coming back, but we'll see. We'll see what, what conditions look like. It's a little early in the year to do this hike, and but it's all the time I had. Um, my biggest worry is what the water crossings are going to be like. We'll see what those are like. <laughs> Holy cow, I've just got a tiny shot of a weasel on video. It's cruising around my camp, a little long-tailed weasel, and it's really rare to see the, actually see them in the wild. They're very elusive, so I should be getting all packed up, but I've been distracted by these very cool weasels. I managed to tear myself away from staring at the weasels and have the car packed up. We're about to head down the road to the trailhead. It's not too far from here. There we go. Okay, let's put this leg through. There we go. <laughs> You're a good boy. He's raring to go. This is a very popular trail and we are definitely going to be sharing it with a few other people. And it's about nine o'clock in the morning and it's already getting kind of hot. But hopefully we will, we will be gaining some elevation soon. I'm not too worried about the snow because if we encounter snow up high, we just won't go that far, but I'm a little concerned about the water crossings. We'll see how it goes. The first one is about 2.8 miles in and hopefully, and it should be the worst one, so hopefully it's crossable with Fluffy Dog. The trail starts out walking by Pettit Lake which is a very lovely lake surrounded by some nice peaks. And whew, we'll be leaving that lake behind pretty soon though. Our first trail junction, Alice Lake. That away. The arrow leaf balsam root is a little bit past its prime. It's one of the early spring flowers in this area. It's still pretty, but I bet in the very early spring, the hillside behind me is just a riot of yellow from the balsam root. And that would have been cool to see, but I think we're gonna see some pretty cool things.
we're coming to the end of the lake and have just entered the wilderness. And the views have just opened up to show some very lovely preview of where we're going. After the lake, the views aren't quite so good, but it's a nice, lovely shaded forest and it's hot enough that I'm very appreciative of the shade this forest is providing. We have this nice little bridge spanning a marshy area, but I'm pretty sure there's no bridge for the actual creek crossing. That's the stream we're gonna have to cross. Fortunately, we're not crossing it right there. First creek crossing. The crossing doesn't look that bad. And I think Fluffy can do it without even getting his pack wet. So I'm gonna leave his pack on. But I need to put my water shoes on. I also need to roll up my pants. You did it! You were a rock star! You want a cookie for that? You want a cookie for that? You do. You deserve a cookie for that. If I can find a cookie. Good boy! The crossing was definitely a little awkward, <laughs> but not too bad. It only got up to just about knee deep and only because I kind of chose the wrong path. So, not bad at all. Hopefully the next ones are not so bad too. We just made it across the second stream crossing and you could either choose a very disreputable log to walk across or ford the river. So we chose to ford the river. It went a little bit better this time than it did last time. It was a little bit shallower. Pretty little lake. Starting to get more closer to the top of the mountain type landscape. After that last stream crossing, we start to break out of the trees.
Lovely views. We are starting the switch back and up the hill portion. Now I've got to start to work. Can you get some water? Good boy. Oh, you need a friend? We're getting higher and higher and closer to the closer to the top. One more water crossing at the head of a big waterfall. There you go. Hang on, let me get over there. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Do you think you're a swimming dog now? Are you a swimming dog? You good boy. He practically went across that last one by himself. He needed a little help in the middle, but I didn't ask him to cross the river. He just started crossing it, which is pretty impressive for a little fluffy dog. Wow, it is just beautiful up here. So pretty. We're getting closer, but we've got one more stream crossing. Good boy. Yeah, I got you. Let's go step by step. Go real slow. Just go real slow. Good boy.
We made it. And this is gorgeous. So pretty. Prettier than I thought it was going to be. Now the hard part, find a camp spot. Voila. Now I gotta get all my other crap unpacked. He was very exhausted, but you know, one chip from a marmot or pika, can't tell which one that was. He is on full alert. Right off the bat, we found a pretty delightful little campsite right on the lake. I was kind of surprised that we could actually find something just because there are at least seven or eight other groups up here. I can't see a single one of them from where we are. It's very nice and private, but still has a beautiful view. So I'm pretty happy about that. But it's been windy since we got here and been waiting for the wind to die down. We had some snacks. Fluffy and I both took naps. It does seem like the wind is starting to die down. So I'm going to cook up some dinner. We're going to have a little chow. And then if it, the wind truly stays died down, we're going to walk around a little bit and perhaps do some fishing. I really did not plan food well for this trip so it's kind of mountain house or bust excellent I probably should have run my water through a handkerchief because there's a little bit of grit in the water that's okay We are going to have Mountain House lasagna. I've never actually had their lasagna before, so this is a new and delightful treat. Now we wait for the water to boil. There we go. Perfect. And we will very carefully pour this hot boiling water into our lasagna. Oh, smells good. It's not the best mountain house ever, but it'll do. I probably put in too much water, which I usually do, but it's not bad. It's still kind of windy, but it's less windy than it was, so we're going to go explore. That mountain is called El Capitan for its resemblance to El Capitan in Yosemite. I think we have to hike a little further to get a good view of the sawtooths back there. From El Capitan, they just keep going and going in this beautiful, beautiful cirque. We're going to head down a little bit and try our hand at some fishing. I think that I saw a fish rising <laughs> in one of the lower lakes, so... Let's check it out.
Well, no surprise that I did not have any luck fishing, but that's okay. It's just fun to throw a line in, even if I manage to snap my fly off on the ground somewhere. I'm not a good caster, obviously. Well, it's getting a bit later, and I think it's time to lay down the fly rod and go to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. What a good boy you are. Good boy, you ready to get up and do some more hiking? Oh, good boy. You ready for some breakfast? This morning we are having Captain Crunch. Mm. A delightful sugar bomb. And I actually carried up real milk for this because the powdered milk is pretty awful, so. Mmm, yum. We're going to take a little time and let everything dry out a little bit before we pack everything up. There's definitely a fair amount of condensation last night, even though I had the tent doors mostly open. So, a little bit of drying time. We started out right here and we hiked around this loop and camped right here. We could just turn around and go back. Or we could do this full loop back to where we started. I'm pretty sure I can get to about right here. But this portion, there could be a lot of snow. It's not that there just could be a lot of snow. There will be a lot of snow. It's just whether that snow is passable or not. And I don't know. So we're going to go check it out. I have heard one report of uh, a fellow who has gone through and said it was a little spicy. <laughs> so we're going to hike up there and take a look. And if it looks if it looks too much like too much snow or too dicey, we won't do it. We'll just turn around and, and go back to the car. But we're going to check it out. So let's go. Don't run away. Good boy.
We have been climbing above Alice Lake and it is so lovely up here. I'm so happy to be here. As we climb higher, we're getting little glimpses of Twin Lakes, which is just a little past Alice Lake and apparently has some pretty good campsites there too. So if Alice Lake is full, Twin Lakes is quite lovely. So it would be a good option. I've been looking ahead to see if I can tell exactly where the trail crosses. And I'm not sure exactly where that is, but I can see one teeny tiny little person up there climbing over the pass. Based on where I can see the person, which is kind of over here, he's heading this direction. Every day you can find some snow is a good day, huh? Fluffy is very eager to reach this little snowfield ahead of us. It's a teeny little snowfield, but <laughs> he made a beeline for it. Did you find some snow? That's our trail. Oh, that looks like slippy stuff, huh? I think we might put our spikes on. It is slippy, but it is very nice and solid snow, so that's good. And Fluffy keeps on going back and forth on it because it's fun. What a beautiful old gnarled tree. It takes a tough tree to survive in an environment like this. And I suppose <laughs> it's not alive anymore, but it lived a long time. We're getting much closer to the top of the pass and are getting amazing views of the Twin Lakes. Gorgeous. And now more snow. Let's see where we're gonna go. Let's see. Hang on. Well, I 
don't know if that's a cornice on the other side. It does not look stable. So I think what we're gonna do is scramble down up and around this. It's actually a little steep for scrambling, but it's not too bad. I think we could do it okay. Changed my mind and we climbed right over that snow thing. The beginning part was a little teeny tricky, but then it was fine. It's mainly tricky just to get fluffy over it. But once he got on top, he was like, woo, snow. So We're getting our first look at Toxaway Lake and it's very pretty. <laughs> and now we get to descend for a bit and hopefully there won't be too crazy amount of snow. Looks like the trail crosses this snow field, which doesn't look like too big of a deal. I'm gonna put my spikes on though. The snow is kind of slippy. As I'm looking, there actually is some section of trail coming this way, but Ultimately, we got to end up down that way. So we're going to go straight down this. We're basically just following the snow fields down the hill. The actual trail is, is buried by these, the snow. And so I'm making a approximation of where the trail is and based on where I can kind of see it down the hill. but. Uh, I just got to get through this and get to the lower valley. I'll be a little happier than I am walking on snow because you never know when it's going to get deep all of a sudden or too soft to walk on, but it's good so far. Yeah, it's sort of... Whoop. And it's definitely a little softer down here. Not really post holing, but I want to get out of this. This is definitely a bit of a where did the trail go challenge, but I think I have found it. If we go straight down this slope, we pick up the trail right over there. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, let's go down this. Slowly and carefully. Good boy. Yay, we made it. And I think that's gonna be what the worst of the snow. That's a pretty big snow field and it was starting to get a little slushy and post hold a couple of times, but nothing too bad. So I'm very glad to be off of it now. That was kind of the worst of it right there. Our trail has become a stream <laughs> for a little bit anyway. It looks like it looks like pretty much smooth sailing from here down to the lake. Glad to be out of the snow. Getting closer to the lake. We have made it down to Toxaway Lake. You gonna get some water?
that was a wonderful little snack break and now we are carrying on down the trail The outlet stream for Toxaway pours down these cool slabs of rock, but I, I can't get them very good on camera, but it looks really cool. And there's these awesome slabs of white granite all over the place here. What an amazing falls. Of course, just as I said, oh, I can't get a good view of the falls. Just a few steps down the trail, there's a little overlook and holy cow, those were beautiful. <laughs> you checking out the waterfalls? There's more waterfalls. I hope we get to see more of that from the bottom. That's just amazing. That is definitely one of the more impressive waterfalls that I have ever seen. That was absolutely stunning. And we still have a few minor snow banks to negotiate, but they're no big deal. I'm gonna find an easier place to cross upstream. Good boy. Well, that is lovely. Gonna take this little path and hope it leads down to the lake shore. You still got energy to explore? We have found ourselves a nice little camp spot. I'm hoping this big rock will help shelter the tent a little bit in case it gets windy. But it's nice and flat and it's near the lake, but not too near the lake. And there's our beautiful lake. We'll see more of the lake later. I need to get settled in and get camp set up.
feels like home now. Much to my chagrin, I just did a little consultation of my maps and pinpointing where I was or where I am. And this is Toxaway Lake. That little lake we had a snack at earlier today was just an unnamed lake up in the mountain. It, I, this lake was too big to not be a major lake. So this is Toxaway Lake. It's quite lovely. They have lake trout in here, supposedly. Big ones. Not that I'm likely to catch any, but we're gonna try. Holy cow, I can't believe I still have my fly. There's a nice little underwater ledge right here. I don't know how far it goes. <laughs> I love it when I basically nearly hook myself. like the book said I should do, but it is about to get really tangled. All right, well, I'm gonna call that good. We are gonna go back to our little campsite and make some dinner, and I am going to untangle my line. I want your light. Igniter's not working for sure. There we go. I did have a little moment of concern since my igniter did not work on my camp stove, but I was able to light it with a lighter, thank goodness. I have never had that one not work, so I was a little concerned, and this is an area where you can't have campfires, so I'm very glad I'm not having cold soaked mountain house tonight. My mountain house is about ready, so I'm gonna eat some dinner and then hang up my bear bag, untangle my fishing line, and go to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Are you good boy? Are you good boy? And your good boy, Fluffy Dog. I don't see a single fish rising in this lake. Maybe they're all at the other end. We are gonna get our stuff together pretty quickly this morning and get on the trail. We have about 7.4 miles to go, which isn't bad, but I do happen to know that the last couple miles is gonna be pretty 
unpleasant over some low uh, elevation and uh, some pretty exposed terrain and there's going to be uh, a rise about a 500 foot elevation gain towards the end so we're going to get packed up and get going so we aren't doing that in the very hottest time of the day which at that elevation is probably going to be 90 degrees so I don't want to be hiking over that stuff when it's super hot. A little recap, we started here at the Pettit Lake campground, hiked over here, camped at Alice Lake, hiked by Twin Lakes, and now are camped right at Toxaway Lake. I think we're actually kind of right here. So today we hike all the way down, 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 down to this trail junction. And then here we have a 500 foot climb and then downhill again to our starting point. Time to go. Good boy. Good boy. And another screen crossing right off the bat, but it doesn't look like Fluffy's going to have any trouble with that. Maybe. We should be able to do this just fine. So it's my goal. It's just to keep the socks dry. Oh, you're taking the logs? Good boy! We've got a number of little piles of snow to tromp through. Are you excited because of the snow? Is the snow very exciting? Is it fun? So much better when there's snow, isn't there? We're starting our day with a pretty pleasant stroll through the woods, kind of high above the lake, but it's in a nice shaded forest and that makes for a good morning. We've reached the base of Toxaway Lake. It's very pretty, but you can't get super good views because of all the trees down here. But it's still very lovely. And now we carry on.
I see beautiful waterfalls and a lake ahead. So I think just ahead of us is Farley Lake. I'm pretty confident this is, in point of fact, Farley Lake. <laughs> and I actually see some fish rising in it. Just a few, but there are some fish rising. But we need to get down the trail. I've been poking along and we need to make up some time so that we aren't at the hottest part of the trail at the hottest part of the day. Another stream crossing. Of course, my shoes are wet now, which is going to make crossing this talus field a little challenging. might take a little work getting through. Obviously a big avalanche came through here. Let's see. I can negotiate around that one. This bit's going to be a little trickier. Ah, let's come up the hill. Come this way. Good boy! Good boy! Wah. All right, we can go back downhill now. I think you can go under those, buddy. Good boy. I'm gonna go over. Okay, I think you can jump over these. You go over top. Jump up. Jump. Here, I'll help you. Good boy. Oh. Good boy. Okay. Now where do we go? I got to put the camera down to get fluffy up and over this stuff. That was a pretty short stretch of trail, but took a bit of work to get through it. Ended up kind of climbing up and over the trail. And we got through okay. Fluffy needed a lot of assistance though, but we made it.
I, I have been trucking down the hill as fast as I can go, which isn't that fast, but we have finally made it a pretty long slog down the hill and have come to our final creek crossing at Yellow Belly Creek. It doesn't look too bad. I think we should have no problem with it. I don't think that's the right way to go. You gotta go on the other side of the log. There we go. Good boy! Oh, you're gonna almost swim. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy, Snappy! Oops, I gotcha! Oh, we get Okay, you're going in. Okay, you got it. You got it. Good boy. Good boy. That was a little tough. We made it. I'm gonna get my shoes back on. I'm gonna refill my water here and have a little snack. We've got about four miles left to go, but my phone has started to yell at me that the battery is running low, so I won't be able to film very much. But I'll try to I'll try to get the highlights in these last four miles. Now we have reached the Pettit Lake cutoff. That means we have 1.8 miles left and 500 foot of elevation gain, <sighs> which isn't that great because I'm kind of tired. We finally made it to the top and are now headed down. Thank goodness, the end is in sight. The switchbacks really aren't too bad, except for that it's at the end of a very long hike. So doing this hike the other direction would definitely be more ideal so that you got this climb over at the beginning of the hike, but that's okay. We're almost there. We're stopping in one little shady spot so Fluffy can have some water. It's definitely the heat of the day. <laughs> I didn't quite make it in time to beat the heat, but that's okay. We're almost done and it's all downhill from here. <sighs> and there's Pettit Lake. It's taken forever to get down to lake level, but we're almost there. We made it. My phone battery is about to go kaput, but we made it. We are back at the parking lot and are ready to hop in the Jeep and hopefully find a camping spot real quick because it's Friday and it might be kind of hard to find a spot. So that's our first, first thing on our agenda. Okay. That's all for this time. Thanks for coming along with us. We'll see you next time.